Page 37, lightly row, toward the bottom of the page. We get some exercises in counting, because there's all kinds of rhythms, and it's really important that you be able to figure out a rhythm, to be able to count it out. And then lightly row, you see they give you one bar line. I talked about bar lines or measure lines in the previous video, so if you don't understand them, please go watch that video again. Here, they want you to draw in the additional bar line, so you have to figure out According to the time signature, there's four beats in a measure. That's what the top number is for, because you're counting to four, so you have to figure out every four beats you draw a bar line in. So look at what they've done. They've got two quarter notes and a half note. That's four beats total. And the next one, there's two quarter notes and a half note. That's four beats. You draw a bar line through all the way through both staves. Doesn't matter there's nothing in the bottom staff. Just draw the bar line all the way through and you keep going over. You got you got four quarter notes, well, that's four beats, then you draw a bar line. So go through, there's two lines of this, and do bar lines all the way through. It's a little confusing when I say lines, because lines means all kinds of different things. Each of those things in a staff is called a line. And you have the grand staff of two that consists of two staves together that go together that's called a line the whole thing is called one line so lightly row is actually two lines long it's got four staves total but it's two lines long so lines get a bit confusing sometimes which line are you talking about today so you go through and put in the bar lines I'll let you figure that out I want to talk about lightly row we're starting out here Fifth fingers on the G. Please keep working on the, these note names. Learn the note names in the music, and you need to know the key names on the piano already. Just instantly know them. So the little finger, fifth finger, little finger is on G. So here, so we're still in C position. That's fine. And then you need to know which fingers on which note. Just you have that mental image of it. So, it's, so you have a G and then two E's. And then you have an F and two D's, and then you have a C, D, E, F, some G's, and then in the second line, now the, the left hand's here, and you got G with thumb, G, we're in C position there. And E's, some E's, and then an F, and some D's, and then in C, and an E, and G's, and C. You go as slow as you need to go. I'm kind of going kind of fast. I don't want the video to last forever. So that's the idea you need to go through on these so you can reinforce the names of these notes. Then once you have that, then we can go back and add the counting. So here, it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. You get the idea? And every time I say one, that's the beginning of a measure. There should be a vertical line right in front of it. And so then you add the notes. Well, let's make it a little more interesting because you're not confused enough yet. Between the staves, they put some other information in there. And it's important. So you see the MF there in the, between the staves in the first line? In the second line, it's a P. Well, these are dynamic marks. MF, and it's based on some Italian words. MF means mezzo forte, or moderately loud. Forte is loud. Moderately M is medium, me, middle, sort of loud, yeah. So, it's sort of loud here at the beginning. Not loud, just moderately loud. Don't overdo it. Then when you get to the second line, that P stands for piano, and that means soft. So now it's soft. And here's the kicker. I can't tell you for sure exactly what loud is and what soft is, because it's not an exact value. So if you're the kind of person who needs exact values, you're going to have some problems here. The dynamic, the volume level, it depends on the situation, it, it, all kinds of things. I'll talk more about it in the future. And it's personal. It's what is moderately loud to you versus somebody else. What is soft to you? 
This soft in the second line here is not as soft as you can get. We can get softer than this. It's just soft. So all I can say is it's sort of loud. You'll have to decide what that is for you. But whatever volume it is at the beginning, it, it needs to be that volume through the whole piece. Anytime you have a moderately loud in that piece, it needs to be that same volume, whatever you decide it is. And the same thing for any, any other dynamic level you may have. Once you decide what it is, be consistent throughout that whole piece. Now, the next day it might be different. doesn't matter. But be consistent in when you're playing it. Be consistent throughout that piece. So, and moderately loud, sort of loud. And you stay at that dynamic level until they give you some other instruction. Which means this first line is going to be moderately loud all the way across because you got nothing else. Then the second line, now you get a different instructions. Now you're soft. And now you're going to stay soft until they give you something else, which they don't. So, just stay there. And that's the way dynamics work. Now, in addition to all of that, now when I approach a new piece of music, I do it like just in bits and pieces, one thing at a time, because I can't take it all in at one time. It doesn't work that way for me. Some people can. They can look at everything and it all kind of comes together immediately. That doesn't work for me. That's why when I approach it, first I figure out what the notes and the fingering is, get that underway, and then I go back and I do the counting and get the rhythm, get that under the way. And then I can go back and add the dynamics, the louds and the softs, and I get that under the way. I get that figured out. Now I go back and add the speed or tempo. How fast should I play it? Well, above the steps, so there at the beginning, it says moderately. And it's like the dynamics. There's no set speed for moderately. It's a range. It's somewhere in the middle. How do you feel today at this time? What is moderately to you? Uh, and it's the overall flow of the piece. It's, it's not fast. Maybe this is fast for you. I don't know. Maybe this is where it should be. One, two, three. Maybe you feel that's too slow. Well, well. one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Is that moderately? Some people it would be. Other people it seems fast. It's a personal thing. Over time you'll develop a feel for all these different tempos, all these different speeds, and you'll get the idea. Just you decide how fast it is, and that's how fast you're going to go for that piece at that time, for that day. You know, it can change from day to day. How much soda pop or whatever you've been drinking. Just think it's, it's, but for the play with me sections, I skip all of that because I'm not trying to perform it. I, I just go real, real slow because we're just checking notes and rhythms. I leave the performing and all that up to you later on. You do that on your own. What I want you to do is make sure you got the right notes and rhythms and you can take it from there. Now when we do the play with me section, I don't do dynamics. I don't do louds and softs. I just play it through. I need you to hear all the notes. I'm not, uh, so, so I just play it at one level. You can add the dynamics on your own. So I'm, again, I'm going to give us four counts, and let's play this together slowly to make sure you have all the right notes and rhythms. So put your hands in C position, and here we go. One, two, ready, go. Three, four. Four. 